So, who will we play as today in Mario Kart Wii CTGP? Why, I think we should play as Mario's arch enemy, Bowser. And of course, Bowser has a bike made just for him. Yeah, we're going in the Flame Runner again because it is the best. All right, moving on. We've done the first four cups. We're going off to the bob -omb Cup where we've got GBA Bowser Castle 4, Luncheon Tour, DS Wario Stadium, and the Rabbit Hole. I've actually played all of these before, but they're interesting, so let's go. Bowser Castle 4? It's one of those GBA courses. They really got to bring back. This could be an amazing course if you revamp it and give it enough design. Because the track itself is pretty great. If a bit angular. But with some creative liberties, man, this could be such an epic Bowser Castle to bring back. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Bowser is going to win in his own castle. Whoa, okay. Off to a rough start. Nothing we can't handle. Move it, Luigi. I'm moving. I'm moving. I'm grooving. Take that, Koopa Troopa. Alright, I don't know the course as well as I should. But that's okay. Oh man, and I love that GBA Bowser Castle music, it's so good. That power-up is actually quite risky to grab. <laughs> but we don't need it. Whoa! Watch out for those Mecha Koopas. Seriously, this course is so good. People always forget about it. It's just relegated as another one of those numbered Bowser Castles that nobody cares about. I mean, they've brought back, I think, the other three from the GBA one, so... Maybe maybe not all of them. I always get some of the GBA Bowser Castles and the SNES Bowser Castles mixed up, because they're both very similar. They're both Bowser Castles that are flat and square. There's a boost pad back there. Gee, there are quite a few boost pads on this course. Oh man, look at that lead we have. Daisy's kind of close, but not really. Okay. There's a way you can, like, do short hops over the ramps, and I don't know how to do it. It's a little bit faster if you can do it. I've seen the pros consistently pull them off. I have no idea how you do a short hop, though. It's like a trick, but you barely leave the ground. So you get right back on immediately, which is good. Because whenever you're in the air, you lose speed. Okay, man. Look at the gap between first and second, and then the gap between second and third. And then the gap between 11th and 12th. Diddy Kong's really suffering right now. That is not a great. Well, doesn't even matter. We're still in first. Well, Daisy's catching up now. I forgot there are no greats on top of those. I'm gonna forego the boost panel. We gotta get the tight inside turning. Again, I don't agree with being able to get red shells in first place. Wait, what the heck? What happened to Daisy? I take my hand, I take my eyes off the mini map for like a second, and then boom, she's like really far behind. Did she fall as well? You guys probably know. I don't know though. But this is a great Bowser Castle. I mean, it's no Double Dash Bowser Castle, which is the best Bowser Castle. But it's still pretty good. Definitely the best of the handheld Bowser Castles. And again, the handheld Bowser Castles just aren't that great on the whole. The DS one is pretty decent, but like, the 3DS one fell into the cardinal sin of just like, eh, we need to, we need to meet our water quota, so let's put an underwater section in Bowser's Castle. It's like... There's literally lava here. It's like, uh, no, underwater. It's ridiculous. 
But we're not here to gripe about Mario Kart 7 and 8's terrible underwater gimmicks that they shoehorn in everywhere. Now we're on Luncheon Tour, which, um, I think this is a Mario Odyssey themed course from like the Luncheon Kingdom, maybe? I don't know, the, the covers are trippy though. The covers are really trippy. Woohoo! Oh, yes, triple banana. Oh, ho, ho! Oh, that's right. You need a boost to go this way. Even though it looks like that's the way you're intended to go. Oh, yeah, this is definitely a Mario Odyssey thing, of course, because all the power ups in case. Instead of having a question mark behind them, they have a moon inside them. Did I get triple mushrooms in third place? That does not confuse me. No! My triple mushrooms! Yikes. Okay. Yikes! Well, I got mushrooms to take the, uh... The shortcut I have attempted last lap. Man, we, we fell far behind. You fall off one time and boom. Oh, but everyone's so clustered. Look at that. Okay, we can easily catch up. Luigi. I'm trying to win. Don't want to get stuck behind the sign. That would be a bad thing to do. I'm saving this mushroom for the final lap. Take that shortcut again. No! My mushroom! That's not what I want. Alright. There we go. Perfect. Now we just have to avoid getting it passed back to us. Why is there a bolt bill in second place? Does not compute. Bowser just wanted to eat lunch. Oh, I can't believe I jumped over those banana peels. Okay, blooper. Not really the time, bro. Okay, I'm not making the jump now. We're not doing a trick there. There we are! Bowser ate lunch faster than everybody else. <laughs> I'm so evil. That's an interesting course. I like it. I like these original courses. The colors are a little weird in the background. It's a little trippy, but cool adaption of Mario uh, Odyssey Kingdom. Oh boy, it's DS Wario Stadium. Not a great course, but it's probably going to be better than the Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, version of it. The Mario Kart 8 Deluxe version of this level is one of the worst courses in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. But that's also a low bar, because Mario Kart 8 Deluxe has really good courses. This course isn't like garbage, it's just not great in the grand scheme of things. Plus it might work better with Mario Kart Wii physics. That part's more fun. Okay, yeah, this level's way better in, in outside of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This part's totally different. It's been so long since I played the original version. Yeah, this course is way better. I mean, it's still not amazing, and it's no Waluigi Stadium, but that's okay. We can't out of you as good as we have to be. Uh -oh. Not stopping in the mud today.
Yeah, the whole anti-gravity portion where you have to go sideways in Mario Kart 8. Yeah, no, it doesn't work. That was a great red shot. <laughs> Just totally missed me. Although our lead on this level is not great, so we still got to keep racing clean. Oh no, it's Blooper. What will we do? Oh, that's not good. Remember when I said race clean and then I ended up in the mud pit? Good times. Oh great, Koopa and Yoshi, the entourage of Virgin. They won't catch me. Okay. Yeah, that course is more fun than it usually is, but still not amazing. I generally prefer the new stages over the old stages. Unless the old stages are really, really good, like Broken Pier. But DS Wario Stadium, not great. But th that was a good adaption of it, so I'll give it a thumbs up. I'm pretty easy to please. Alright, this one is awesome. The Rabbit Hole. This is an Alice in Wonderland themed course where we basically go through her adventures and it's amazing. Yeah, look at this. This course is absolutely insane. In all the best ways. So our adventure begins by us going down the rabbit hole. And as you can see, the minimap is kind of broken. Woohoo! Yes! Our journey in Wonderland began when I went down, down, down. <laughs> okay, that was not good. Alright, Luigi. Also, I thought we were in Alice in Wonderland, not the Wizard of Oz, but apparently we're going on the Yellow Brick Road regardless. Alright, now we're going into the Lotus Woods. Or the Tolji Wood. The Lotus Woods in Kingdom Hearts, Tolji Wood in the actual story. Take that, Yoshi. Now we go to the Caterpillars area. This, I think, needs a touch up. It's just purple everywhere, and this is not how it was in the movie or the book. I feel like there's just one texture everywhere, which is a little strange. This part is trippy as all get out. This whole level is trippy, because it's Alice in Wonderland. In fact, I told you would. This is also an only two lap level. <laughs> The Cheshire cats who are actually just reskinned blues. It would be great if they got in custom sound effects as well, but that might that might have run us into some copyright trouble with Disney. And we don't want to upset the mouse. No. I don't want to get bit by the plants either. Painting the rose is red. Painting the rose is red. So now we got the hedge maze to go through. It's honestly pretty simple. No! Rude! The guards also move faster the later you get in, so like this one's moving crazy fast. And yeah! Stop it, Wario! Oh, look! We ate the one side of the mushroom to make us go big, go big. Again? Alright, boo. I gotta say, this course did an amazing job of capturing the essence of Alice in Wonderland and the overall feel. Such a creative course and so super fun. Probably a bit on the long side. I'm glad it's only two laps, but honestly, it almost could have been just one lap. 
I feel like it's the Mario Kart... I feel like it's N64 Rainbow Road, where it's like, three laps is way too long, one lap is not enough. So maybe, maybe two laps is the way to go. <laughs> so fun. So trippy. No! That's bad. Thank goodness we only got bit once. Alright, we gotta get for the hedge maze. Nice and clean. No, stop giving me fake power-ups. I don't want these. And there we go! We won Wonderland! Man, I love the creativity behind the custom courses. So great. <laughs> what, a, what a way to finish the cup, huh? Just fantastic. Dun, da -la. We get first place. Only B! Yeah, that, that, that actually makes sense. We fell off. And, and went off-road a lot. So fair enough. Alright. This time I think we'll be a little guy again. Let's play as... Baby Mario! And we go in the Magic Cruiser. I do love me some Magic Cruiser. Yes, I'm continuing the bike trend. So sue me. Going on to the fake power-up cup, we got SNES Mario Circuit 1, Sakura Sanctuary, Superstar Dystopia, and DS Chief Chief Beach. Have played Superstar Dystopia, but I'm excited to play it again. That course is really good. That course is really good. The others should be a bit of a mystery to me. Okay, SNES Mario Circuit 1, this is just the boring course to end all boring courses, pretty much. Very basic. Again, the SNES courses don't really do it for me. They're just flat and blah and basic. Like, they were good in the SNES version because it was the first Mario Kart, but now I'm craving something with a little more excitement. Yeah, look at, look at that. It don't get much more basic than this. Oh, wow, okay. Five laps, though. So clearly the laps are going to be quick. Yeah, this is actually a course that I think five laps will probably be good. Three laps would still be too short because of how small this level is. But I don't need the seven that Baby Park has. It's not that quick. Yeah, this is a good compromise. I like the hills in the background. They at least, they tried to make the background look interesting. I do admire that. This is one course where you definitely don't need it inside the game. One thing I've always wondered is, there are a bunch of power-ups in the SNES version that never made it back in any other game. Like, the Poison Mushrooms. Which you can't even use in that game. Only the enemy- only, like, I think Princess Peach and Toad can drop them. The Fever, I guess, made it back only in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe Battle Mode. But I feel like the Fever... The Fever was totally broken in the SNES version, but I feel like it wouldn't be as broken now. Because the tracks aren't just like, you've got a really tiny fence. And that's literally the only thing separating you from being able to take sequence breaks. I feel like... It, I feel like the Fever could be used for some really interesting and creative shortcuts if they were to bring it back. So bring it back! And make shortcuts better. So don't just make it like, oh, you can boost across the dirt to take a shortcut. It's like, that's not really a shortcut. But I, but I digress. 
Sakura Sanctuary. Ooh, this looks interesting. It's like a dark pink color everywhere. I was not expecting this to take place at night. I feel like this would take place in like the early morning with the gentle Sakura petals fluttering in the wind. All right, let's see what's up. Oh. Well, gee, I wonder which way I'm gonna go around the circle at the beginning here. <laughs> oh my gosh, the pink power-up bar, that's great. Oh my gosh, the CPUs are crazy. All right, this is a very pretty looking level. Very simple, but we, you know what? There's, there's a place for simple. All right, yeah, it's a very nice looking level. All right, I gotta remember that banana peel for future laps. Because I bet you for some reason the CPUs ain't gonna run into it. Is there any advantage to going around the other way? I, I, I gotta know. Okay, no. That's a no. It's literally just schmuck bait. Alright. Why even bother having that there? Any shortcuts around? Oh, wait. I think there might have been a shortcut back there. Investigate next lap. Oh my gosh, even the green shells look pink. There's just a pink tinge on everything on this level. Yep, sure enough, nobody slipped on that banana peel last lap. Alright, I, I like this level. It's simple, but it's, it's nice and charming. Uh oh. Somewhere through here, though. Looks like it's towards the end here. Okay, nope. That's... That... Wow, how did I not drop any places by taking a complete ball cut? That might be able to be used as a shortcut, but that would, that would require insane turning skills. All right, all right, this is a pretty cool course. I wish they did a bit more of the shortcuts. By that I mean I wish it had shortcuts, but that's also just me being weird. I'm like, shortcuts you want on every racing course. Still one first. Man, the CPUs are just tossing their stuff forwards like crazy. Baby Boy McGuire, my favorite Mario Kart character. All right, <laughs> Superstar Dystopia. This course is awesome. We're going through like a crazy parking garage and a city. It's, it's really cool. Again, very creative. It definitely has that custom track feel to it. Like maybe the uh, coloration isn't quite there with the rest of the real official stages, but it still looks great. Also, only two laps, because it is a decent point for the uh, stage. Watch out for the fire on the ground. Get that Yoshi. And of course, we've got that Moonview Highway music. Alright, through the parking garage, flyboy. We got these future flops who are trying to crush us. They look intimidating. <laughs> no match for us. I wish we broke through the window, but instead we basically take a DK cannon there. There are pokies hanging out. Don't really know how they fit in with the feel of the stage, but there you go. Anyways. Do not drive off the edge there. Even if it looks like it goes on for infinity, uh, you will just fall off. 
I found that out the hard way. Oh, I thought that was a ramp that would take me to the land of milk and honey. All right, guess not. On Donner, on Blitzen. <laughs> Through this crazy city. Take the half wall. Poof! <laughs> I don't recommend doing that. It's a bit longer, but there you go. Yeah, this is a fun course, for sure. A plus to whoever made this course. This is really good. It's like a cyberspace city almost, which is really, really unique. One thing I also found is that there are some tracks here that are tracks from non-Mario Kart racing games. Like, there's a Crash Team Racing track in here somewhere. Wait! <laughs> I didn't think that that was broken. That's fine. Look at the, look at the lead we have. Take more than a boost shell to slow down the magic cruiser. Nobody around. Now that is an awesome original track. Love that one. Modding community, keep up the creative work for all of these custom stages. They're so fun to play. So fun to play. All right, final stage of the cup, DS Cheap Cheap Beach. This one is actually kind of different because it takes place at night from the looks of it. We're only getting the, the, the view from above, so I'm assuming that based on how dark everything is, it's at night. Yeah, it is. Oh, this is going to be cool. And the Tiki Torches. Okay, I'm actually kind of pumped about this. This is cool. Ah, uh, the classic Peach Beach Beach music. I was wondering if they would have the Shy Guy Beach music here. Don't eat it. Oh, the lighthouse is going too. Oh, this is this is so cool. This is good. It's such a fun adaption of the level. I'm not even that big of a fan of Cheap Cheap Beach, but this is well done. Also, it's nice to have a beach course where the sand doesn't have ice physics for no reason. If you've got a mushroom, you can go over on that path over there. But I don't. Oh yeah. No. Wow, yep, yep. This is Mario Kart Wii. That was what, like six power-ups that hit me all at once? Excuse me, we couldn't help but notice that you're in first. That's not allowed. Not into the water. We can't cut for the water like we can in Mario Kart 8. <laughs> water is deadly. Wow, why are they just throwing everything in front of them? This is the opposite of my strategy in Mario Kart 8 Battle Mode. You throw everything backwards. I don't like how close someone is to me. That's okay, we still win. We won every race. Oof, poor Waluigi. Only got seven points in that whole circuit. Why? How did that happen? <laughs> I don't know. 
we get first place. We got two stars, and if we hadn't fallen off on Superstar Dystopia, we might have gotten, and taken the Dumb Long Cup, we might have gotten three stars. That's okay. I will happily take two stars. All right, that was, those were two fun cups, and definitely not as brutally difficult as uh, some of the other stages I'm sure we're going to face, so... Without further ado, that's going to do it for this episode of Mario Kart Wii CTGP. Thanks for watching, everybody, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.